Okay, okay. I must add one video tonight because I was just fooling around in Yu Gi Oh Pro and I've been just dueling just because I'm bored. And then I had this one match right here. I just finished that I have to replay because holy good god, what a deck! Like, it was a really really tough deck to beat but I slowly slowly beat it like I chipped away at the health there take a look at this so he runs a pendulum Tamias, which appears to be he's like dark magician Tamias pendulum health regen deck so I decided to go pop back row and his first pendulum scale and of course I'm running a a melodious deck and then he says that and I'm like was this and I foolishly attacked into it and I'm like, oh, it gives him regen and it cannot be destroyed by battle. So my most common sense of anything I did was to first bring out Bloom Diva. Because in case anything huge comes out, like see, Dumbledore, I would be able to bounce bounce it back to his health, but he doesn't do anything. He just sits there absorbing health. I'm like, that's not going to fly. So about, like, in about two more turns, I think I should have level fours coming up. Oh no, right, I summoned Mozart that first. And I'm like, okay, so I cannot attack, at least I gave myself a boost. Activate Mozart, I activated Arya so that my I think there's a bug on this because Arya says if it's special summon the way it's supposed to be special summon like this, none of the melodious monsters should be targeted by effects. However, I think this card says tribute, so I oh okay. I guess can't be helped. So I go for spirit trigger and I just got a Raigeki destroy it and I poke some health at it and then uh, I just realized the pattern that once he sets something down this that hourglass or or um or um what was it again like aroma jar and I was like uh, I'm not gonna even attack it there's no point and then I decided to go rival the warlord meaning he, he can only special in one thing score to drop Paladin to zero, destroy Paladin. Of course, he did comment saying I should have activated Effect Failure during my turn, however, Effect Failure especially says during my opponent's turn. So, to not let him have his health, I decided to attack into it and act activate Effect Failure during his turn. However, of course, it's not gonna do much. However, here's the, here's the funny thing. He says that, and I'm like, I feel a little stupid, but I'm like, hmm, that's not really going to matter. I'm going to see when I get my next effect veiler, I'm going to make Catastor because I have Catastor here in my um, extra deck. So I was like, I can just ram you over with Catastor, but effect veiler never showed up. And when she did, it was really late in the game. So I'm getting into this, and I foolishly set the, these two track um, spells because I thought he was going to at least do some kind of MSC move didn't he was just sitting there <laughs> and I'm like what uh, what more can I do I'm like I'm locked out I literally comment saying I'm not that like, oh wait I have a giant point of heaven so I said that and I'm like I'm sure if he has to mice he's going to pull some pendulum magic earth and I was like all right just I'll just wait for the moment so finally I'm drawing into it, and Honest really didn't help me here. However, he was a really good, um, as you can tell, I set one so that I can get one more space to see what I get. And I just started dropping down Honest because there was no point. But oh my god, I couldn't believe that I won this. So here's how this is what happened. So I started discarding the Honest. I kept the, uh, I think, score just in case he attacked, but there was no point. I dropped Arya, I dropped the two Arnas, and I think I kept everything else in my hand, so 
right about now when he started getting um about yeah right around here 23 to 21,000 plus health yeah he decided to go a bit more aggressive oh wait one more turn it's when he draws into um odd eye falcon thing yeah there we go that thing he decided to sack it so he can activate its effects apparently and free his back row, which is a pretty smart move, but I just popped it, popped all of it. And then he's like, okay, time to go Buster Blader and you know, all that. And I'm like, Grand Corner has him. Nope, I'm gonna poke you. I started poking it. I could have destroyed his pendulum, but the funny thing is, even if I destroyed his pendulum, it really wouldn't matter. Because what I said was all a notice. And <laughs> what was the funniest thing is he summons all of those two and I saw him notice. I lose a chunk of my health, but that was no no biggie. I start ramming him with my buffed up monsters. And then his health just dropped all the way to 3200. I was like, he had 20, 25,000 attack and his health just dropped to 32. And then I was like, bottomless. And then it was game. And I was literally, right after I won, I was like literally, I must upload this because this is insane. Like, I cannot believe people actually make these decks. <laughs> but oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, my deck is not even that great. I cannot believe my deck actually pulled through this deck. I mean, I mean, most people will rage quit. But, oh, that was beautiful. Anyway, this is a short video. I, oh, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go for a little pause and see what he had. So he had Mirror Force on the door. He had Eye of Tomias. Did he have? I want to see what he had in his deck. Mm. It looks okay. I mean, okay, so it's mainly a Tamias deck, it seems like, because I see a lot of Dark Magician material mixed in with Pendulum, but. Like, I don't see anything else. Nothing viable. Oh, okay. Oh, that's an OCG. Alright, I'll let an OCG slide. But, it was really hilarious. This duel. I was like, I was almost ha tempted to give up. I was like, nah, you know, I really don't give anything right now. So. I'm just gonna keep playing and oh my good god I cannot believe I won this. <laughs> it's like I know this is like a 10 minute video but I'm still like pretty surprised by this. So let's see, what can I take out? Uh sword? To do okay, so I guess the honest did some uh, contribute, but the biggest contribution I had was score and effect veiler and Rageki. I don't have, I don't actually have a physical copy of Rageki. I'm still looking for one, but I don't think I'll be able to get one until much later. I wish I did it. I wish we kept our Rageki. I know we had these. I remember having these. Or oh, these three. These three save me big time. I am using these as my staple from here on. I have Grand Home Heaven, I have Solemn Morning. I don't have Solemn Notice, so I might have to switch with um 
something else for chance. But oh my good god. The fact that I was able to pull that stunt. But the formula I'm using in my deck is just a very simple, annoying formula. So I'm just gonna break down this. So the monsters are monsters, they'll do what they must, but the one thing I always have is Valhalla, so especially on any of these. Like Geki, I don't have it, but I use it here. Valmus, staple, but I the one the six I mostly rely upon to lock down my opponents. Of course I could run Christia, but there's no point. I use it only to side maybe in an emergency, but Rivalry of Warlords. Each player has can only have one type of monster on the field, so if you pendulum summon, a lot of pendulum summons, except for like few, are like mixed types. So they have to only have one on the field. It's probably going to be Odd Eyes, but the time Odd Eyes comes out, I would have a bottomless or any of these ready. Or I have somebody who's going to be in a higher tier to knock it down. Mistake, a lot of cars nowadays want people to add cars from graveyard, deck, or extra deck because of pendulums. And I'm also talking about e-heroes because Rhoda, um, reinforcement of the army, and all these other add to your hand cars. So I was like, to lock down, I need to find something that will lock down. And I was looking through all the list of traps and I saw this and I was like, that is a really good card. Uh, powerful Rebirth. I run Call of the Haunted. I wish I had a Powerful Rebirth, but basically it ranks, um, levels up your monster with 1 star and gives 100 attack buff. I only do it because um, this thing says if a monster disappears, this disappears. But if this disappears, the monster does not disappear. So the monster stays, but this card disappears. So I get a free monster still on the stay on the field, and these are just what it is: negate the summon, negate the summon, and negate the summon, and negate the summon. So this row of traps right here literally worked wonders for me. But holy good god, I cannot believe I'm, I cannot believe I'm still playing you, yo. Know? It's pretty fun if you get into it, but I cannot believe I actually won a deck that almost reached for 30,000 to 40,000 uh, life points. I remember there was one guy who went 100,000 life points because all of his card effects, which I lost to, but I was never expecting me to actually go through that. Anyway, that was fun. I'll see you guys next time on Gamers Unity. Thank you guys for watching. Oh man, that was a shocker. Like, such a shocker. I cannot believe I survived this. Okay, enough of my rant. GG. Bye bye guys.